how it is made. Black phosphorus is the thermodynamically stable from phosphorus at room temperature and pressure. It is obtained by heating white phosphorus under high pressures about 12,000 atmospheres. 2.4 Piece of black phosphorus Symmetry, orthorhombic, Pearson symbol, OS8, space group, CMCA number 64, density 2.64 grams per cubic centimeter, band gap 0.34, refractive index 2.4 Black phosphorus has an orthorhombic structure and is the, is the least reactive allotrope. A result of its lattice of interlinked six mem membered rings where each atom is bundled in, threes, in three other atoms. In appearance, properties, and structure, Black phosphorus is very much like a graphite, with both being black and flaky, a conductor of electricity and having packed sheets of link atoms, phonons, photons, and electrons in layered black phosphorus structures behave in a highly anisotropic manner within the plane of layers, ex exhibiting strong potential for applications to thin film electronics and infrared optoelectronics. Light absorption in black phosphorus is sensitive to the polarization of incident light, film thickness, and doping. Black phosphorus phototransistors exhibit hyperspectral detection attributes in the infrared and visible spectrum. Application and new foundings. Unique thermal properties discovered in 2D black phosphorus nanoribbons. A new experimental revelation about black phosphorus nanoribbons should facilitate the future application of this highly promising material to electronic, optoelectronic, and thermoelectric devices. A team of researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy has experimentally confirmed strong and plain anisotropy and thermal conductivity up to a factor of two along the zigzag and armchair directions of single crystal block phosphorus nanoribbons. Black phosphorus, named for its distinctive color, is a natural semiconductor with an energy band gap that allows its electrical conductance to be switched on and off. It has been theorized that in constant to graphene, black phosphorus has opposite anisotrophy in thermal and electrical conductivities. Example, Heat flows more easily along a direction in which electricity flows with more difficulty. Such anisotrophy would be a boost for designing energy efficient transistors and thermoelectric devices, but experimental confirmation proved challenging because of sample preparation and measurement requirements. Application and new foundings. Unique thermal properties discovered in 2D black phosphorus nanoribbons. A new experimental revelation about black phosphorus nanoribbons should facilitate the future of this highly promising material to electronic, optoelectronic, and thermoelectric devices. A team of researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy, DOE's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Berkeley Lab, has experimentally confirmed strong in-plane anisotropy in thermal conductivity up to a factor of 2 along the zigzag and armchair directions of single crystal black phosphorus nanoribbons. Black phosphorus, named for its distinctive color, is a natural semiconductor with an energy band gap that allows its electrical conductance to be switched on and off. It has been theorized that, in contrast to graphene, black phosphorus has opposite anisotropy and thermal electrical conductivities. Example is, heat flows more easily along a direction in which electricity flows with more difficulty. 
Such an isotropy would be a boost for designing energy-efficient transistors and thermoelectric devices. But experimental confirmation proved challenging because of sample preparation and measurement requirements. Application and new foundings. We fabricated black phosphorus nanoribbons in a top-down approach using lithography. Then, utilize suspended micropad devices to thermally isolate the nanoribbons from the environment so that tiny temperature gradient and thermal conduction along a single nanoribbon could be accurately determined. Wu says, we also went the extra mile to engineer the an interface between the nano ribbon and the contact electrodes to ensure negligible thermal and electrical contact resistances, which is essential for this type of experiment. The results of the study, which was carried out at the molecular foundry, the molecular foundry, a DOE office, science user facility hosted by Berkeley Lab, revealed high directional anisotropy in thermal conductivity at temperatures greater than 100 Kelvin. This anisotropy was attributed mainly to a phonon dispersion or dispersion with some contribution from phonon phonon scattering both of which uh, decrease as the thickness of the nano ribbon thickness from, from approximately 300 nanometers to approximately 50 nanometers this anisotropy ratio remained at a factor of two within this thickness range application and new foundings Black phosphorus as replacement for silicon. A scientist continued to hunt for a material that will make it possible to pack more transistors on a chip. New researchers from McGill University and University de Montreal adds to evidence that black phosphorus could emerge as a strong candidate. The researchers report that when electrons move in a phosphorus transistor, they do so only in two dimensions. The findings suggest that black phosphorus could help engineers surmount one of the big challenges for future electronics, designing energy-efficient transistors. Transistors work more efficiently when they are thin with electrons moving in only two dimensions, says Thomas Kopech, an associate professor in McGill Department of Electrical and Computer Engineer and senior author of the new study. Nothing gets thinner than a single layer of atom. Unlike graphene, which acts like a metal, black phosphorus is a natural semiconductor. It can readily be switched on and off. To lower the operating voltage of transistors and thereby reduce the heat they generate, we have to get closer and closer to designing the transistor at the atomic level. The toolbox of the future for transistor designers will require a variety of atomic layered materials, an ideal semiconductor, ideal metal, and an ideal electric. All three components must be optimized for a well-designed transistor. Black phosphorus fills the semiconducting material role. The work resulted from a multidisciplinary collaboration on my Scopex Nanoelectrics Research Group, the, the Nanoscience Lab of McGill Physics Professor Guillaume Gervais, and the Nanostructures Research Group of Professor Richard Martel in University de Montreal, Department of Chemistry. To examine how the electrons move in a phosphorus transistor, the researcher observed them under the influence of a magnetic field in experiments performed in the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory in Tallahassee, FL, the largest and highest powered magnet laboratory in the world. This research provided important insights into the fundamental physics that dictate the behavior of black phosphorus, says Tim Murphy, PC Field Director at Florida Facility. Okay. What's surprising in this result is that the electrons are able to be pulled into a sheet of sh charge which is two-dimensional 
Even though they occupy a volume that is several atomic layers in thickness, Scopex says. That finding is significant because it could potentially facilitate manufacturing the material. Though at this point, no one knows how to manufacture this material on a large scale. <coughs> there is a great emerging interest around the world in black phosphorus, Scopex says. We are still a long way from seeing atomic layer transistor in a commercial product. But we have now moved one step closer. This work was founded by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada and the Canadian Institute of Advanced Research.